Welcome to Be Still and Know. I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Acts chapter 28, verses 30 and 31. For the next two years, Paul lived in Rome at his own expense. He welcomed all who visited him, boldly proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ, and no one tried to stop him. Paul's journey to Rome was an amazing adventure. It was a long and difficult journey during which he and his companions survived the shipwreck and many other challenges. We'd love to know far more details, but now, in these final verses of the Acts of the Apostles, we find Paul settled into a house in Rome. We're informed that he was guarded by a soldier and that he was being kept under what we would normally call house arrest. However, he was clearly given considerable freedom and wonderfully, he was able to continue with his ministry. There was no keeping Paul down. The book of Acts began with a small, frightened and confused group of Jesus' followers waiting in Jerusalem. Jesus gave them instructions to take the good news to the ends of the earth, but that seemed impossible at the time. The 28 chapters of this amazing book have told the way in which that became a reality. It was all through the power of the Holy Spirit. The journey was a tough one and the opposition was often violent and intense, but the good news continued to be spread. Now at last, Paul was in the great city of Rome, at the heart of the Roman Empire. From humble beginnings in Jerusalem, there were now vibrant Christian communities in many countries and vast numbers of believers. This should be a great encouragement to us all. There were many times of enormous difficulty and discouragement along the way, but God was at work and his word was fulfilled. As we face our own struggles and problems, we can be confident that God's Holy Spirit will strengthen us and direct us. So let me ask you a question. What encouragement do you take personally from the Acts of the Apostles? Now let me pray with you. Lord God, in our weakness, fill us with the power and wisdom of your Holy Spirit today. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I'd love you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and some great articles as well, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>